We feature three bee meats a lot on this show. They give us great recipes for grilling time and educate us on different cu cuts of meat for cut of the week. But they offer even more than you're probably aware of. I go inside three bee meats for this month's Bizman Bike Club. So in your opinion, how do you cook the perfect steak? Perfect steak? My go-to way that I love, it turns out medium almost every time. I have a pellet grill that I use. Mm -hmm. um, I set it to 325, let it preheat, and then I'll throw it on for 11 minutes, flip it another 11 minutes, sear it real quick, like blast it on each side. Just That's how I do it. Um, turns out great every time. Another key that people don't do all the time is let it rest before you cut it. Right. Why don't we go through and let the people know what sure. we have in front of us? Yeah, for sure. Um, we've got a porterhouse here on this side. That's actually the New York strip. And then on this side there, that's the flame. Okay. Meat. Basically, you're getting two steaks in one. Mm -hmm. This is the actual T-bone. So this is the T-bone here, yep. So same thing as the porterhouse. It's got the strip on this side. And as you can see, there's no filet on this side. And now what about this one? This happens to be my favorite steak. Yeah, for sure. This is our number one selling steak, um, the ribeye. You see all this marbling in here. and mm -hmm. um, It's a great for grilling. And you can cook it anywhere from rare to well done, and it's going to still be a really good cut of meat. Sure. The next one, the New York Strip, that yep. has a lot of marbling, too. New York Strip, yep. It's a little more dense piece of meat than the ribeye. It's a little tougher. OK. Just, just based on where it comes from. Right, right. And so the next one, uh, the sirloin. Yep. What what should someone expect if they were to get a sirloin? Yeah, so sirloin can get a bad rap because it's definitely one of the leaner, as you can see just looking at it. There's not a lot of fat, so it tends to be a little tougher. But I think there's a lot of different things you, you can make with it. Kebabs, you can make uh, right. 100 percent. slice it, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. If you cook a sirloin, anything from rare to medium, you're going to have a nice cut of meat. That's going to that's gonna feel like you're eating a ribeye. And really. season it. Yeah, season it, yep. I and mean, don't cook it too fast. Right. What kind of sandwich do yeah. we have? Yeah, so ham and turkey with Colby Jack. So the way the sandwiches work, um, you get to pick two meats and a cheese. Okay. Um, and then we have, pretty simple, we've got an option for white or wheat hoagies. We've sliced everything to order. We've got our own summer sausage. We make a jalapeno summer sausage and then just our original summer sausage. We can do meat and cheese trays for any event you've got. Okay. Um, sandwich platters. And then you've got your jerkies, your broths, yep. steaks, yep. ground beef. You've got crab salad. Yep. Um, you got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I mean, we've got a ton, a ton of options, and pretty much everything we do, we either make it in house mm -hmm. or cut it in house. Yeah. Mac, thanks for inviting us in. Hey, no problem. Thanks for coming. We just got back from 3B Meats. I'm taking Mac's advice. We're actually going to start by smoking the steak on the pellet grill, searing it on the Blackstone. They call that a reverse sear. So I'm gonna season this with 3B meat steak and roast seasoning. My family puts it on everything, even popcorn. Let's get into it. Okay, we got them on the smoker. We're gonna cook them up to about 120, and then we're gonna take them, we're gonna finish them on the Blackstone to get that nice crusty sear, bring them up to about 130, pull them, let them rest. Perfect 135 by the time you cut into it. Medium, beautiful. And as Mac from 3B Meats said, you don't want to overcook a top sirloin. So we're just gonna sear it a couple minutes on each side, let it rest for a few minutes, cut into it, enjoy a delicious steak that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. All right, so it's been about four minutes. The moment of truth, we're gonna cut into the steak and see if I manage to not overcook the top sirloin doing it Mac's way. It's a really good steak. Look, that's a really good steak. Folks, remember, steak doesn't have to be complicated. Just good quality steak, a great seasoning like the 3B Meat Steak and Seasoning Roast, and maybe some advice from a professional like Mac. You can make a top sirloin taste just like a ribeye, and it's simply that easy. I'm Jeff White with Realty One Group Encore, and we'll see you next time on Bizman Bike Club.
It was, it was actually a really good steak. I'm not just putting you on. No, I could tell, and it looked really good. And I just love how Mac helps educate people about the different cuts of meat and what's available there and how you can stretch it or, you know, cook it so maybe it tastes more like your favorite cut of meat. And, and this is what I like about them as well, Amber, like you were just saying, is you can go into 3B Meats, give them an idea of what you want to make for dinner or how you want something to taste, uh, what you like, what you don't like, and they'll actually walk you through their different types of, of meat and land you on something that, uh, that you're really gonna enjoy where if you go to a big box store, you just don't have that option. So these guys really um, do a fantastic job of, of getting people the meat that they're gonna like. So if you would like to check out their cuts of meat for yourself, they are located 1700 East Main Avenue right here in Bismarck. All right.